What's up, BB fam? We gonna grind it out here again on these YouTube streets. A brand new year once again here on these YouTube streets. Not looking for fame, just doing our thing here on these YouTube streets. We going to mukbang it. Let's show some mad love here on these YouTube streets. With these delicious dishes, we're gonna blow your mind here on these YouTube streets. Setting our grind one bite at a time here on these YouTube streets. Popping beers and bottles. Painting our faces Everybody up like fat bitch models. Welcome to the freak show, the best in town. We here, oh, baby. I'm here on with anybody, honestly. I've been living in my own head, constantly yes, thoughts, sure. trouble ground. Think I need a little bottom in the Hey, y'all. How's it going? Guess what? It's your boy, Barn Bang. Yes, honey, it's your boy, Barn Bang. And we are back with another episode. So, yes... We are adjusting our setup just a little bit. Some people say, I can't see your food because it's a green screen. And I'm like, you can't see my food because I'm on a booth like you go to a diner. <laughs> so, we did some stuff different. We elevated our food up. Mm -hmm. But neither here nor there. You know how we do it. Let's give God some glory. All right. Lord Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for everything you do in our life, Lord. I just want to pray for everybody in this whole wide world. Please bless the people that do not have. Let's put that triple, ripple, dipple power protection anointing on everybody in this whole wide world. Shelter from anything that's come for them and bless them and cover them blood in Jesus Christ. In your name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. So yes, happy, happy, happy. Happy Taco Tuesday. Yes, baby. Happy, happy, happy. Happy Taco Tuesday. Yes. I know my mouth's going to be happy today, but how about y'all's? <laughs> so, girl, we got some goodness <laughs> up in the building. <laughs> yes, I should have taken this bag off, but it's all right. <laughs> So we got us some taco meat, baby. So yes, I got me some taco meat. And you're like, Baron, what is that taco meat? So I had leftover El Pastor that I needed to use. So ain't nothing goes away except in this herzy. Or hizzy. <laughs> Horse. <laughs> but yes, honey. So I uh, did that. I chopped up some bacon. We fried it all up with some onions and... Uh, jalapenos put me some more seasoning on a little bit of water mm -hmm. and got this nice little gravy mm -hmm. and so we got that that what we will be putting on and so and then we are these are our taco shells so these are our taco shells we're doing today yes we got us some lettuce so I'm hungry let's get into the first one and I'm thinking, yeah, let's go ahead with the meat first. So, yes, the meat, <laughs> nice and hot, yes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it comes out really, really good. You know, if y'all start liking this setup more, I'm going to start doing it. Because, you know, I used to have an elevated thing. Now I figured out how to. Anywho. Let me know if you like this setup. If you can see my food better. So. Yes. We got us some cheese. Some mozzarella cheese. I use mozzarella for everything. It's very mild flavor. And it tastes a lot like, you know, the regular Mexican cheese you spend not so much some money for. Oh. You know what I forgot? I forgot my salsa. But that's alright. I'm not going to get up for it. I don't think we really... Oh, you know what? We don't need it. I got my chipotle right here on the side. 
but don't worry about it. We're going to put a little... If y'all have not tried this Tabasco, <laughs> maybe. It is not super hot. It's very mild. But this uh, Chipotle Tabasco, it does not have that weird, like the regular Tabasco flavor. It doesn't have that. It tastes like a smoky Chipotle, which Chipotles are smoked, dried jalapenos, rehydrated in adobo sauce. So, yeah, sugar. Oh, and, <laughs> before I forget, we also got avocado. We got our last avocado that we need to use up, you know. I'm trying to use what we have up so it doesn't go bad. And look, it's beautifully green. So we'll just take a piece of that off and get right on up in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the other thing I love about this setup, because you can kind of hide stuff underneath. You'll probably see some stuff over here, over there, but oh well. But yes. <laughs> Let's get in this taco. So hopefully you're having a beautiful, beautiful day. Yes. And I have been. So, <laughs> Sugar, I'll get you a vern bang bite. Get you a VB bite. Yes. Mm-hmm. Get you a VB bite. Mm-hmm. I know you can see it now. Hello, VB friends. How y'all doing? I love y'all. Mm. Let me get it a little deeper in. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you know. We dripping everywhere. But that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Because the more messy, the more better, baby. Oh, look at that. Mm. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. That is so good. Mm -hmm. A beautiful pork meat. Mm-hmm. Season to perfection with that bacon, the jalapeno and onions, mm -hmm. and everything else I put on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. We got us another one of the Mithienda uh, Manzana with a fresco. Uh -huh. I believe these are the ones that Tondra World drinks. So, if not Tondra World, let me know which one you drink exactly. But I'm thinking this is it. And I know she puts a dollop of apple cider vinegar, but I don't have any, so. Ooh. And we got us another little taco going. Mm. Mm -mm. But how's y'all's Tuesday going? Once again, let me know in the comments. Did you go to work today? Were you off? <laughs> yes, we had an easy day at work as always. We had a clean, clean, clean and catch up with the house. Mm. So.
And tomorrow I'm gonna be working, putting in that uh, patio and everything I gotta do tomorrow. So I'm trying to get this mukbang out early so I can get it up early and beat this Texas heat a little bit. Do it some avocado. Mm-hmm. Get me some avocado. Mm-hmm. I love me some good old avocado. And these avocados have been really good. And really tasty. Get us a dollar of H E B sour cream. Get you a bite. Get you a burn bang bite, baby. Get you a bite. Yes. Come on, BB fam. Get you a bite. Because <laughs> you already know I am. Yeah, I'm still trying to keep it healthy ish, you know. For today. <laughs> mm hmm. Don't even miss the tortilla at all. Mm -mm. Of course, it's been a minute since I ate lettuce, so, you know, we have our on and off love affairs sometimes, so. <laughs> Tweety is doing good. She probably curled up somewhere sleeping because she's not over here trying to bother me with all this goodness. <laughs> Yeah, this is good. It's apple for fresco. Probably not healthy for you, but it's good. It almost reminds me of a, like a flavored seltzer water, you know what I mean? Mm -mm -mm. <coughs> Let's see. I think I got one more in me. I think I do, I think I do. Mm. Good old taco meat, oh my God. Simple. That's what they say, sometimes the simple is the best.
And if y'all not eating tacos today, what y'all eating? Nachos? What? Meatloaf? <laughs> Let me know. Mm-hmm. It's up here. Yeah. Here we go. Number three, number three. <laughs> yes, baby. I mean, the meat is really seasoned. You really don't need <laughs> hot sauce and everything else. I didn't even add the cheese <laughs> on this one. <laughs> it was like... I just added the avocado. So I picked some delicious stuff out of the garden today. I'll have to show you in a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I know the garden's kind of in a lull, so I'm going to try to clip it back a little bit. <coughs> and... See if we can get these restarted, and I'm gonna fertilize it real good. I think again. Mm-hmm. Now cucumbers are starting to grow again. They they've been in the law as well, but the big tomatoes they're not producing like they were. It's probably because of the heat. It's been so hot, and we've been watering them like two or three hours a day. So it's like I'm hoping. I just think maybe we need to put some fertilizer. You know what I mean? Give it a good old jump start but also cut some of that extra growth back yeah and let it shine 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 and hopefully it'll just kick back up because mm -hmm. really are the only tomatoes that are growing are these little cherry but even on them i'm noticing because it's an organic garden. I personally rather use a little pesticide and keep my fruit. Because what they're doing is they're eating the green fruit before it ever ripens. So, you ain't getting nothing because the damn bugs are eating it up. <laughs> Let's get rid of some of the bugs. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> Probably gonna have to do that. <laughs> Probably gonna have to order some stuff online and just do it. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> eggplants are producing. I need to find out some new eggplant dishes because I got two big, beautiful eggplants that need to be picked, but I don't want to pick them until I can use them because it's like, yeah. It's just a waste. Because once you pick them, you got to use them because eggplant don't last too long. They don't have a very long shelf life. And they're still growing like crazy. We got two big ones and we got two or three babies still producing. And it's funny, I must have threw seeds because... In the watermelon container, there's an eggplant baby coming up. Well, it's about that big already. But it somehow must have threw some seeds and copied itself. Or I don't know. Because we ain't planting no eggplant in the 
watermelon container, but the container's over next to the eggplant, so I was like, Nice and messy, nice and messy. <laughs> My bird. <laughs> Try you all. Well, that's if you're in Texas and you have an HEB next to you. Or they make other brands of Apple Mazana. We'll try you some. Alright. So I picked me a big cucumber. <laughs> this thing was hiding in this huge cucumber bush, and I was like, Looking all around, I said, holy damn. <laughs> that baby big. I mean, it big on my head, you know. <laughs> baby. <laughs> That's a big one. <laughs> and then, I picked some ripe ones throughout. And then I also picked some green ones because... Like I said, even the bugs are eating these before they get ripe. So, I'm going to do... Uh, we got to make something with these. We got to do it. Uh, we got to cook something up. And I'm thinking about making a... Uh, I see Mama T Sparks and her friend. Her like sister Paula. Something like that. Here she calls her. But anyways, have you seen it, the, uh, the uh, tomato pie video? I'm thinking about taking these bad boys and making a red and green tomato pie. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, go check out Mama T. Sparks. Mm-hmm. She got that good old southern tomato pie recipe that just had me <laughs> craving it. <laughs> so we had to make it for sure. Oh, yes, I've been watching everybody today. Watch a little Wildcat and Cinnamon Stick at the beach, opening gifts. Mm-hmm. I watched, uh, who else did I watch? I watched me some, uh, She She Family. Yes, caught up on them. Uh, watching me some Foxy Cat. Yes. Some foxy cat, baby. Mm-hmm. Watching my foxy cat. Or watch me some, um, Big Mac. I watch me some Eat Your Heart Out with Becca. Mm-hmm. Yep, I'm just watching up the family today. Well, if I ain't got to yet, you may see me sometime. <laughs> In the future. But yes, y'all. I'm like, do I want another taco? I think I should just stop where I'm at, probably. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, this is just a short little video I'm bringing you. And guess what? I don't know. Should we do a snack? We got some snacks over here. Hmm. Nah. I'm good. So, anyways... You do you. Sugar Art, you know you're going to be the best you. Never let anybody change you. Because you, you, you. Hey, pay attention back there. Even you. Yes, honey. Yeah, especially when talking back there loud. Even you are perfect. Yes, Sugar, you are perfect. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. Just the way you are. Periodski. And you know what? You ain't never know what you're going to see or hear over here on this channel. And with that being said, peace.
Are we going to catch you on another one? Yes, honey.